building relationships, sustaining and growing communications are the people, again, as you direct us in conversation towards, who are skilled at creating those ritual moments, those connective ceremonies that breed the aforementioned uh, elements within us. So in 2019, we're lacking. Well, it gets... It gets it, where I get to, and it gets back to what we spoke about earlier, the, the, the ceremony, the ritual creates belonging, and the belonging creates safety, and the safety reduces fear. And then you spoke about fear as being the underlying issue, one of the key underlying issues we've got right now is people are fearful. Mate, we'll leave it there because it, it's been a great chat. It's been an absolute pleasure. Put your damn phone down. Um, I grab it i think i haven't read it but i'm going to get a copy i've got a long list of books that i've got on the, <laughs> and i do love a, a pickup book well it's a book that you can pick up at any time go to any page and dive straight in that's exactly how i wrote it i wrote it so it's very digestible uh it's robust it's non-prescriptive it's something that i can see any person probably from the age of, say, 14 through to 400, if you're lucky to yep. live to that age, or, or un- unlucky as a lot of people would imagine, 400 years on this planet might be 150 too many. Uh, it's the sort of book that you can have as a companion ongoing, and I think every family could have one around the kitchen table, the yep. lounge room, and, again, share thoughts. There are no rights or wrongs within the book, which I think is really, really important, just to have people's takes on the certain questions that are, are put forward. In fact, let's finish our podcast, or your podcast, become I'm taking over the podcast for the last one. I'll, it, I'll open to a random... There we go. I've opened to a, a random page and we'll fi- finish with one last question. The question that I've randomly opened to is, does every life have the same value? You've asked a lot of questions of me. I'll pose that question to you to finish the podcast. Does every life have the same value? What well, do you think? I, well, I, you know, for, I, absolutely. I do believe that. Um, listeners would understand that, you know, we're, I'm vegan. So it's, it's also not just human life. It's the life of every being and every sentiment of being on this planet has got the same value. I, my, my understanding is when we sort of separate and disconnected the thought that the humans were superior to the other beings, it was one of the key turning points in our disconnection from the planet because we thought that the planet was ours to use, not ours to be part of anymore, which is, is, is impactful of, of how we actually use it now. That then related to then we just started to farm differently and we tilled as opposed to did it by hand and we used machines to and just ripping up the the soil in a way that was so destructive actually just put our impact on the land and on the beings and then it just it just manifested from there so i do absolutely believe that every life has the same value whether we portray that in in how it shows up in our actions is is different um but I, i think what we believe and what we sometimes and this is why i think the book's great but what we believe and whatever we tell a story if it doesn't authentically show in action, it's ignorance, and and we can be quite ignorant in that. Um, but I can see where that book would be great, especially if you've got some friends around, and to create a conversation topic where let's talk about this, like let's let's get into the weeds on this discussion, write down ten things, and let's discuss it. Like, and that would again be a ceremony, like a ritual that you could you could do. So, again, without reading the book, I see the value within the book. And on that note. I will end your podcast and thank our uh, listeners for being a part of it. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Pleasure. Before we finish, where can they check you out? Like if there's there's a company that wants to get some more authenticity into their culture, I want you to come and have a chat. Um, You can simply go to my website as you did. Yep. Uh, Anyone who contacts me, I'm more than happy to respond to them in person. Yep. Uh, I don't think I'm a very difficult person to find, but if you're looking specifically, you'll find me online at www.glenmanton.com.au, brilliantly named website, uh, and or via Instagram, where you'll just find me under Glenn Manton. I don't have any other social media platforms or any spaces anymore. I was on Facebook through an inclination of a previous manager a couple of years ago, 
uh, quite honestly, one of the greatest regrets of my life, joining Facebook. Yeah, I, I hated every moment of it. I had absolutely no online bullying or, or disappointing interactions with anyone. I just thought it was a horrible, horrible place. I mean, if that was a country, Facebook, if Facebook <laughs> was a country, their tourist rate would be zero. Yeah. No one would want to visit this place. I had a Twitter account. of It's there somewhere in cyberspace. If you go to that, you'll never find me. I'm disinterested. So it's Instagram and or online. Drop me a line at any stage if I can participate in some way shape or form in a robust thoughtful way to improve your business your school setting or beyond more than happy to do so if you're wanting to get a copy of my book you'll find it all at all good bookstores and or via my website perfect mate I really appreciate your time pleasure Okay, so what did you think of that? I, you know, I, I loved it. I really loved sitting down with him. He'd be someone that I definitely want to get back on the show um, more regularly. I think we could have that that podcast itself could have went on for another three or four hours, and we did. We probably spoke for another forty five minutes just about other stuff that we like. Oh, that could have been on. So it was it was awesome. I, you know, I was mindful of time because I'd never met him before. We'd allocated an hour, that sort of thing. So, but I think you know it was really interesting stuff. I'd love your feedback. From it again, his book. Just go and check it out. Grab it. You know, not saying that because it's Christmas, but it's one of those that can sit on the coffee table. So yeah, that was it. I'm not going to talk too much more about it. Hit him up. Uh, make sure you make contact. Tell us what you think. You know, jump on my Instagram or email me and and let me know what you thought of the podcast because your feedback's really important to me. Chuck me a rating on iTunes and that would be really appreciative. But until next week or the week after, as I said, these could be fortnightly. Have a great time and enjoy.